hello everyone welcome to another t-shirt design tutorial and today again i am going to make another photoshop t-shirt design and for a photoshop design the size is same it is 4500 into 5400 300 dpi and then rgb color mode then create the document so i am going to create a similar style design for this one too but in this one i am going to use a night templar image like this so the original image was this one then i just remove the background of it and this is really good and let me tell you first this is copyrighted design so do not work like this like this is not my work this is someone else's drawing i'm just taking this to show you but do not work like this do not upload this kind of designs or any exclusive sites your account can get banned so this is how you can remove the background i hope you know that so this is some similar style colors so it is going to be it is easy to select and then once the selection is made you can click on this layer mask okay so sorry this is looking like this don't worry press shift ctrl i that will invert the selection or go to select and then inverse and then click here this layer mask icon it is going to erase the extra part of the design and then you see i have two layer here one is the original layer another one is this layer mask it just like the transparency so on this original layer what you will do is you will select this small details and then press shift on your keyboard to select them multiple times and whenever this selection is made you can then go to this area and then take your brush tool take the black color and then paint over this area it is going to hide so that's how you can make a complete transparent png and once that is done you can just save it as a png by turning off this solid color layer anyway so i already made that let's start with that one so this is the png i made and i'm going to keep it somewhere like this i don't want to place it as too big or too small image i just want to place it somewhere like this and then for design purpose i'm going to take a black color background so that i can see what is going on so this is the main image here first step is i want to rasterize the image then i'm pressing e for my eraser tool and with eraser tool i can erase these parts okay so let me just turn on the keyboard shortcut so this is how it is looking right now and you will see my keyboard shortcut here so this is the original image that i want to place here then i want to create a background image so for the background image i am going to use this image here this is just a random image of a valley or a hill area so i'm just going to place it here in this area and a bit bigger in size but i want to place it in the background of my this soldier so i will create a area like this like he is standing among those hills or whatever they are so this is how it is looking right now i need to do some modifications like i don't want a hard a hard edge here i want to soften them and for doing that first step is i am going to rasterize the real, this layer then create a layer mask without making any selection i am just creating a layer mask and as you can see it is complete white inside so if i take my brush tool and if i just erase anything this time i am using a fancy brush that is called the that is inside the dry media brush that is the kyle's ultimate pencil hard whatever the name is so this brush i am using here because i can use this soft round edge brush that will make it softer like this or i am just using this fancy brush it will make it a bit hard to hard on the edges just like to make a variation so let's start with this soft brush here first so i am just going to erase some of this area so basically i am not erasing them i am just hiding them with black if i want to bring them back i can do that by using by painting a white color on top of them so this is how it is looking right now and that is fine and for this edge now i will use a brush like this just to make it a bit hard looking just a bit random looking something like this so this is how it is looking don't worry it is not really important you can just use any brush you want so this is the image i have right now here and then i want to erase some of this part of this image so i'm going to do the same 
taking a layer mask take your brush tool this time i am going to make it a bit smaller in size so then i will just erase this part and as you can see this is how it is looking and to match their color like this is in black and white this is in another color so i can simply match their color and for doing that first step is i am going to right click on this layer and then apply layer mask again here and then apply layer mask so that effect is no more they are just now two regular images so for matching their colors i will first of all select this background layer this valley layer and then create a layer on top of that right click then create clipping mask so whatever i am going to do here it is going to affect my this layer only nothing else will be affected by that so on this clipping mask layer i am going to take my brush tool and this time of course i will use this soft round edge brush nothing else so with my brush tool here i am going to sorry i am going to pick one of this color this is the soil color or the mud color here so i am going to pick this color here and then with that color i am going to take my brush bigger in size then on this clipping mask layer i am going to paint over it just paint over all the area it can take some time because it's a big image a really high resolution image so right now it is looking like this don't worry we will take care of everything so this is how it is looking right now and that is fine now i am going to go to this blend mode and make it multiply so multiply will bring them in similar color style you can see now they are in similar color style you can just play with these blending modes and see which one fits the best for you so i think this one is looking a bit interesting maybe i can use something like a overlay mode yeah that is good so you can see this is how it is now it is now matching better so they are now looking similar style soil or color so this is how it is looking now for this two layer i am going to first of all this three i am going to make it a group that is fine so that i can move them at once let's make it from group and this is how it is looking and okay so before making the group i have to do one more thing here and that is i am going to add some more elements like i wanted to use wings here so this is a fiery wings you can search on google like wings on fire or wings png you will find different images just like this one so i'm going to press ctrl t ctrl t for transform so that i can place it something like this not too big of course not too small that is good let's okay sorry so i set this to group now i need to set it to layer so that i can move layers by layers ctrl t again right click and flip horizontal and this is how it is going to be so this is i'm just trying to give it look like this is the wings of that knight something like this and that is good now maybe i will change the color of the wings here so you can see this two layer is my wings layer so i don't need them as two layer i can simply select them both right click them and rasterize and then right click and then merge layers so that this two layer will become one layer now they are on single layer so here for the image i am going to change the overall color of my graphics like i will do, okay i'll do that later so for now this is the original color of the wings i am going to change it a bit so let's create a layer on top create clipping mask then with my brush tool i'm going to pick a color like this kind of red color maybe or maybe i can simply pick a color like this i'm not sure which one will look good let's try both so this is how it is looking now i'm going to just make it i'm going to play with the blending modes here okay so i made a mistake here and that is before doing that there is colors of my wings i need to fix that so how to do that select this wings layer go to image adjustment and then desaturate so desaturate will make them gray that means no color at all only black and white and then if i apply any kind of color on that 
it is going to give me that similar color look you can see now it is not looking like a fire effect but it is matching with the graphics with the rest of the soldier dress here so this is how it is looking and no problem at all and here i will add some more elements like in this group this is the original layer of the background on top of that layer i will place some lightning effect here so these are the lightning images you can search on google like lightning png you will find tons of them just pick some good pn good transparent one because most of them are png but not all pngs are transparent so that's a trick you have to find some good transparent ones and this is how it is looking so again i am going to not keep them as two layer make them rasterize and merge layer so that this will become one single layer and now i am just going to play with the blending mode and let's see which one fits the most here okay this is looking good now this is just an effect so for changing the overall graphics i can do one more thing that is this effect this is making it realistic with the soil that is fine but it is not looking good for my this graphic right now let's change it so i'm going to press ctrl click on this layer and it is going to select everything that is in that layer okay not like that maybe this layer so if i control click on this layer it is going to make a selection and, and on this one this layer i am going to take a reddish color kind of this then i am going to change it not that bright red something like a darker red so this is how it is going to be and that is good okay so i'm just deselecting everything once the color is good for me and this is not looking very good we can also fix that by selecting taking another layer on top making a clipping mask and with this color selected i'm going to paint over some of these areas okay so i'm going to take it from here just to match it with the background color and then on this one we applied overlay so of course on this one i am going to apply that overlay again so this is going to now match it with the background color and this lighting effect and the rest image is looking good for now so for making it look like a okay so this is the text i'll be using even though i walk through the value of the shadow of death i will fear no evil so this is what i am going to use in this one so for this text for this message here the shadow of death the value of shadow of death for making that i managed to get some other graphics like this one you can search like a pile of skull you will find images like this and these are free to download so i'm going to just make it somewhere between this area i'm just going to make it pile there then maybe ctrl t right click and flip so this one this one i want to send in the background of my soldier so i'll just bring it down to this layer and that is okay so not that layer maybe here so this is my soldier image okay so this one is here so that image is going to be somewhere here and it is not visible because of this layer okay no problem so basically this is also applying that clipping mask here so no don't worry about that let's just keep it on top of the layer here and we will take care of that but before that this one i want to place on top of my soldier layer so let's select these two rasterize them first then on this layer i'm going to control click on this layer to make a selection now again i'm going to create another layer so you can create clipping mask or you can just use this control click option anyway so just make it overlay so it is going to look like that maybe i will use multiply here or any other effect here so this one is looking good okay so it is not matching with that color because these skulls are white and the, those valleys or soldier they are not this much white so it is not matching perfectly with that color 
but don't worry we can just play with the rest of the graphics here so let's make the opacity a bit down or maybe just i will use some more this color burn is looking good so that is fine and for this area here i am going to do the same thing so this is that yeah that one so control click here and then create a layer on top of that one again i'm going to paint it with that same red color and then i'm going to again use this color part so this is how it is looking but i want to send them in the background of my this graphic here of the soldier here so i am going to select these two and then make them a group then maybe i will turn down the opacity so that i can see what is going on and then here on this group i will use a layer mask inside the layer mask i will take my brush to erase some of this part so i am basically erasing the part of the skulls you will see what is going on here in a bit so this is how it is looking right now and it will look like those skulls are in the background and then once it is done selecting this group and then turn up the opacity bring them again so it is kind of like transparency so you can see this is how it is happening here so that is the main graphic part of my this design and that is fine for this soldier image i will maybe use carp tool here you can go to image adjustment and then carbs just like this to turn down the brightness a little bit to match with the background and then of course this one i'm going to turn down the opacity sorry the brightness a little bit so it will overall look like this and that is good so this is done now let's just add some text i'm not going to add too much effect here so maybe for this one i'm going to use two font and one is bleeding freaks and one is rocks death so you can find them on the font.com it can take some time so rocks death regular and this is just a bolder looking font so that is the reason i am using this font i wanted to keep it big enough to be able to read and i think that is fine walk through the okay so even though i'm going to place it here then i'm going to create another line here even though i walk i'm going to keep make this a line this one line and then i'm going to make this one another line so this is just fine and then i am going to bring another copy of this one here and then value of shadow of death this shadow of death i am going to make it a bit bigger in size and then i will change the font for this one so bleeding freaks is the font i wanted to use here okay so it is not working because there is some you can see the capital letter it's a free font so not everything will be supported here so whatever is in capital is not going to be supported so let's make it smaller like smaller letters not capital shadow of death and then it is going to work here and as you can see it is already working even though i walk through the even though i walk through the value of the shadow of death and this is how it is looking i am going to use that same font here i will fear no evil okay so again this same problem so it is going to be i and then w then f it just needs to be a smaller letter <laughs> okay so i need to change the font here 
reading freaks so this is the font now this is good so this i is in a small letters that is not very good maybe I, I can fix that okay i'll do that later so let's just keep it like this for now and then i will bring the center piece so this one and then this one all of this is the center graphic part so if i turn this off i can see now i'm going to make it changed by group so that i can bring them like this so this is how it is looking now i'm just going to create sorry not like that so this one i'm going to make it a bit bigger in size because there is area so if that is the highest the widest area of my that design then i can make it bigger too and that is good so this is how it is looking and then i will bring this a bit down to give them a bit more focus like it should be readable otherwise there is no need of making designs like that again i am going to make it a bit more bigger even though i walk through the value of the shadow of death i will fear we will so that text is done right now no problem at all so if i want to add some text effect like the previous video i shared so the shadow of the shadow of death i am going to create a new layer right click sorry not convert to the small object so shadow of death layer here create another layer right click create clipping mask take your brush tool here then i'm going to just make it dissolve and then paint over this area so this is going to give me a shadow effect here and that is fine and then i will just select this layer and then go to this effect inner glow so inner glow will give me that inner glowing option but i need to change this red color to this red like it should be the exact red or exact color of the original design then you can adjust the sizing of it so this is how it is looking right now i will fear no evil i am going to create a new layer on top of that layer clipping mask again i am going to paint it with my brush tool okay so before doing that let me show you one more thing so this is the original layer i will fear no evil i am going to rasterize this layer and once it is rasterized i am going to take my eraser tool to make it smaller and then i am going to erase some of this part okay so it's not erasing in a very good way because the hardness is zero percent let's make the hardness hundred percent so that i can make it erase it like this and once it is done i am going to make a selection of this area then press ctrl t so ctrl t will give me this option to scale that up and you can see this is how i get a capital i here instead of a small letter i so that is good now this is the layer let's erase it now on top of that layer let's create a new layer right click make clipping mask and then take my taking my brush tool again just the same thing just like this and then i'm going to select this layer making it a inner glow effect it will pick up that exactly same red color because that's what i picked last time anyway so this is how to make that effect i hope you know that and if you watched my previous video you will understand how to do that so this is how it is looking right now and for the rest of the area like this part i just wanted to keep it like this if you want to change the color to like something similar red color i have to just select this layer here not that one this okay so this is the wings part you have to select this one here and then with the brush tool i'm going to pick this color 
then fill it with that red color so it is going to give me that exactly similar kind of red style but this is the color dodge effect that is not the way maybe overlay will make it so this is how you can make it like looking similar with the rest of the graphics so that's it for today's video guys i hope it will help you understand the process of working in photoshop now this is not for print on demand like march by amazon or red bubble but you can work like this on non-exclusive sites like motif figure lunch and then chip chip whatever you like that is not exclusive about the design copyright so i hope you will learn something new from this one that's it for today's video see you in the next video guys have a great time thank you everyone